Thank you very much. Uh, I'll be needing you a bit longer, Mr. Dart. And thank you, Mr. Ferreira, and uh, for sharing the drawing of your uh, children. I hope it will serve as inspiration for this week. Mr. Darton, uh, join me a bit here, please, because um, you have the uh, honorary task of handing out the prestigious Dieter Behrens Medal. Really short, who is or was Dieter Behrens? Dieter Behrens was the, um, was, was the chief executive of the DECOMA, which is the German Society of Chemical Engineering, I guess you could say, and a very influential figure in uh, European chemical engineering. So he deserves to have his own medal? He has his own medal. He deserves to have his own medal. Okay. And in honoring him, we also, of course, honor every few years a chemical engineer who has contributed a lot. And um, it's not really a surprise who it is, but maybe you can build up the tension a little bit in <laughs> handing out the, the medal. The floor is yours. Right, thank you very much. If uh, Ines could, to, could bring me a medal. Yes, every, every uh, two years, the Federation awards this medal to someone who has made an outstanding contribution to European chemical engineering. And I, I can't build up the tension too much because the person who is going to win it, of course, knows already. It is Professor Sebastio Feo de Azevedo from the University of Porto in Portugal. And could I ask Sebastio to join me, please? Um, it, it has already been said once this afternoon, and perhaps a little cheekily by a colleague of mine, that uh, Sebastio is one of the university professors who is actually interested in education. And uh, <laughs> I think this is rather a slur on our profession, Sebastio, but, but nevertheless, Sebastio has contributed a huge amount to education in his own country. He's now Dean of Engineering at the University of Porto. But, more importantly for the Federation, in his work as chairman of the Working Party on Education, having um, written important papers and uh, chaired that Working Party, stimulated it to plenty of activity. And I might say, in recognition of the role he played there for 14 years, um, contributing to chemical engineering education and qualification in Europe through his many publications and presentations, Sebastio, it's a great pleasure to present you, first of all, with this splendid, I have to say, certificate, beautifully written. And I'm sure as an educationalist, you will approve of that. So let me hand you that. Thank you very but, much. But also with this medal, which commemorates Dieter Behrens himself and there should be a picture of him on the screen, but there is. I'm seeing something different here to what's on the screen. Yes. Um, he looks a for fairly forbidding character, doesn't he? I'm, I'm sure he was actually much, uh, much friendlier than he looks in his picture. <laughs> for sure, he has, he has been. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If I may say a few words. Well, uh, dear colleagues, uh, President uh, of the FCE and of ESBES, uh, Professor Darton and uh, my Portuguese colleague, Guilherme Ferreira, uh, dear colleagues, members of the executive board of, of the FCE, allow me a special mention to the colleagues from the EFCE Working Party on Education, also members from the industry that are here. Uh, Delegates, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think that we all have in our lives uh, moments where emotion and, and, and passion run high, speak louder than reason, um, and they invade our mind and be sure that this is one such moment for me. I'll try to control it, but it is one such moment for me. I worked for, well, I started working in, in chemical engineering and in university issues in a few years ago, in 1972. Uh, indeed, uh, out of these 40 years, I spent a good bit of 35 years in uh, developing work in, in close cooperation with the uh, first European 
colleagues, uh, eventually with uh, South American colleagues, uh, North American colleagues from Africa. Uh, and uh, along uh, this trajectory, as I more and more worked uh, uh, at international level in education, well, in research first, than in education, and more recently also in uh, European policies, um, it grew in me this uh, strong perception that I have and that I want to share with you today. That is, uh, in spite of the really very bad winds that are blowing in Europe, winds of uncertainty, uh, particularly in southern countries of Europe, um, putting in question the European model and a number of issues, I strongly believe that there is no other way for the future for Europe but this one of going together, cooperating together, and pushing forward for more integration, of course, with all respect for our different cultures. But that is the only way for Europe to be able to fulfill uh, its uh, historical role of development, of development in the world, and more important than that, of peace on Earth. And it is this idea that keeps me running. And uh, I'm convinced that it is this idea that brought me to this, of course, extra, uh, extraordinary moment to me. Um, I really have to tell you that uh, this is, of course, a very, very sweet moment. Because um, I note, I, I give myself the right to have this illusion that my peers uh, saw something of useful in my work. But really, but really, this is also a privilege and it is a great honor. In all these occasions, of course, there are institutions and there are people behind this. And I have to take one minute, two minutes to mention those institutions and those people. First of all, uh, I will start with the Portuguese Institution of Engineers, Ordens Engenheiros. It's an association, it's an important organization, it's a member of the FCE. It is through Ordens Engineers that I've been working with the FCE. Uh, I myself uh, worked uh, with the National Board of Ordens Engineers. I was National Vice President for International Affairs. Uh, and of course, Orden gave a, a strong contribution in my activity and a strong support to my activity. But speaking of an institution, there is always some person behind it that gives the decisive push. And in fact, that person was the past president of the chemical engineering branch, um, Eugenio Ferreira, that is with us somewhere here, it's there, who, when he received the call for application for this award, for this medal, thought that uh, I had the curriculum for that. And he, he said that he would apply, and I said, I won't argue with you. You go ahead, and we shall see, and it's, that was it. So that's one. The second institution, well, the second group I want to really mention is, um, of course, the Working Party on Education. It's a wonderful group. I worked with them so many years, first with uh, John Gillet, then with Martin Moulton. Eventually, I was chairman. Uh, I learned so much professionally and culturally with my colleagues. But above all, the social atmosphere was so wonderful in these meetings with a nice dinner and nice discussions of all sorts of things. Really, it's for my whole life, the memories I have from my colleagues, and I, I want really to thank them and to acknowledge them. This, this, it's, it's important, it's very good, it's not important. For some candidates to be a member of the working party, go ahead, because you will enjoy it immensely. You will enjoy it immensely. Thirdly, I shall not ever forget my department. I, I have the privilege of, of working in a, in a great faculty of engineering. Now I am the dean, but it is true. Um, and within the faculty of engineering, there is a great department of chemical engineering with the highest standards in, in, in research and education. And you can see them on all these numbers that nowadays appear in rankings and things like that. And it is through the work of my colleagues, of the researchers, and especially of my students that I more and more learn to, 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 to enjoy education, to enjoy research as well, but to enjoy education. And for sure, my department could not be out of this moment. Finally, two very special notes. I would not be ever happy with myself, with myself if I did not at this moment, uh, make a, a, a very sincere, sincerely and deeply felt tribute to a person who is not with us anymore. Some of you knew him very well. 
I'm speaking of Professor, of late Professor David Ripin. I last met David, and he is the main reason for me to be here. Professor Ripin was professor at ETH, professor of several things, but process systems engineering, and I last met David in Seoul, South Korea, in 1994, uh, three weeks before, before he passed away. Uh, he was a friend of Portugal, and for some reason he cared to be my friend. And we had two nice talks on, those, on that occasion, second one in the airport, because the airplane was late, was delayed. And he, to he told me something like this, Sebastian, uh, Portugal is not very active in working part in education, and you have so much work in education, why, why is that? And I told him, David, well, I'm not sure. I, well, when I go back, I shall see what's going on and I will see what I can do. And, and eventually I came back to Portugal and I heard of the sad news a few, a few weeks later. And I said for myself, yes, I have to do something about it. Indeed, then I, I spoke with the, the chairman of the time, who is not with us anymore, and he was a vice president of the FCE, Fernando Ramon Ribeiro. Um, and well, details are not important. I became the delegate for the working party and I'm here now. So really, David Ripin uh, played a major role in this. And finally, of course, I have to say that um, uh, I dedicate this on the end of the day to my close family. It is, of course, to my two daughters, to my two granddaughters. This may be an example to them, but mainly to the person with whom I share my life for 40 years, that's my wife. Thank you very much. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very much. Time for our second partner.